na yung bag ngamale, Mr. President. Good afternoon. Mr. President, what are your thoughts on the sudden demotion of former President Arroyo from being a deputy, uh, from a senior deputy, deputy speaker to just a deputy speaker? Uh, well, you know, these things, I, I, if you've been in, in government long enough, you'll have seen many of this. In my time as congressman, uh, I had two terms as congressman, nakatatlo yata kaming ganyan eh. And this is just part of the reorganization and that uh, the speaker is his prerogative uh, as to uh, what, how he feels the house should be organized. So, uh, nangyayari talaga yan. Uh, I don't think we all, we, not any of us know uh, what is, uh, what it all means. Where, where will the, where the chips will fall after all of this uh, reorganization. But uh, I, I don't think it is, uh, I, I, do, I think we should, we should also be careful uh, to not read too much into it. Uh, I really see it just as a run-of-the-mill, uh, it comes in wa once in a while, a run-of-the-mill uh, reorganization na ginagawa sa house. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Ms. Kath Valiente of Manila Time. Yes, good afternoon, Mr. Good President. Afternoon. Uh, can we get a reaction on the resignation of... Vice President uh, Sara Duterte, uh, as a member of the LACA CMD, uh, she denounced for what she called a uh, political toxicity and uh, or political power play. What's your thought on this, sir? Uh, very simple, exactly as she says. Alam mo naman si Inday Sara is very plain spoken. Kung ano yung sinabi niya, yun ang ibig sabihin niya. He, she has too much work to do. That she cannot be involved in any of this. She cannot allow herself to be distracted. That's the way I read it. And uh, it's true because uh, kung titignan mo kung ano yung mga hinaharap niya, eh, talagang marami talaga at hindi niya pwede mag, uh, to, be, to be involved in whatever it is that's going on. Uh, she has to concentrate on her, on her job as uh, uh, the, uh, the secretary for the DepEd. And now, NTFL CAC, marami, so it, it is, uh, marami talaga siyang gagawin. So I can understand why sasabihin niya, o oh, sige, ayusin niyo muna yan. Uh, gagawin ko muna itong mga importanteng kailangan kong tapusin. Okay, thank you, 